Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to review a filament from Filamentum called Extravil PLA. So let's have a look after the intro. So the other day I ordered all the shades of grey of Filamentum filament I could get my hold of and I want to try this filament out and like to use grey filament in my prints and I want to get all this grey options that filament has so I ordered quite a number of rolls and the shades of grey I got is metallic grey, Rapunzel silver, electric grey, vertical grey, iron grey, concrete grey and vertical galaxy and even though the galaxy is maybe not a grey filament it is dark filament with some crazy good glitter in it and also the vertical grey is very famous for, for the glitter parts and it is looking awesome but I want to get all those shades of grey and, and find the option that I like most for my prints and I'm gonna show you some of the prints I did first the test prints and then a number of other prints I did so one of the first prints I normally do with the filament is a stringing test and this is printed on my Prusa MK3 printer and it is printed with G-Hub enabled and as you can see there's a very little amount of stringing it's just tiny wisps of stringing so I was printing this at 210 degrees on the hot end and I was quite happy with this result and decided to use this setting without having to change the Prusa PLA profile in the slicer it was coming out great and then did those overhang tests and one was facing away from the fan and one pointing to the fan and this one was going to towards the fan and this was pointing away from the fan and as you can see there's slight more difficulties here on the part that turns away from the fan but this one that is turning towards the fan is, is very good and only a small amount of issues here and the ends are looking very good very little drooping on the ends so the next print i did was this overhang test and as you can see there's one tiny bit of string here that is come loose but otherwise the bridging test was very good and no issues except this single strand that was was drooping so the bridging capabilities were very good so printed this test and this one came out excellent there was absolutely no issues and here the overhangs are, are looking very good there, you can see there's a tiny wisps of strings coming here but nothing to complain about and so this test was giving very good results and then print those tests and this one is printed like this on the bed and the other one is like this so you can test how strong the layer bonding is and it's i would say it's like medium layer strength on this print at 210 degrees maybe i should increase the temperature a little bit to get stronger layer bonding but this test was quite difficult to break so the stiffness of this filament is, is quite good and then printed out this Benchy this one is printed in electric grey and I think of those colors options I have this is probably my favorite of them and this was coming out very good and see there's no issues with this Benchy and there's a small issue here at the bottom because the PI seat has a damaged hole in it but other than that the print came out very good then printed out this figure this is a model from my mini factory it was coming out pretty good there's no issues with this print it prints with a lot of supports to support the arm and the head removing the support was not an issue and this came out very good see it's very very smooth and this is printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height could probably get more detail by printing in less layer height and printed an army of of those figures and my maker coin and i printed these on in all the all the colors and this one is electric gray this is rapunzel silver this one is metallic gray this one is concrete gray this is iron gray this one this is vertical gray and this is vertical galaxy i included those even though it's not a shade of gray it's more like a black color with a, a glitter in it didn't have any pure black so i wanted to have this included those prints came out excellent and i want to try out all the all the shades with a number of prints so they were looking very good so i'm quite happy with those filaments and i used the same settings on all the shades of gray and i think i like this electric gray and this concrete gray the most the concrete gray has a, like a matte finish to it it's a very nice color and also the electric gray is looking very good i'm quite happy with those colors the vertical gray is like a lid on its own <laughs> it is 
uh, awesome. So those were the prints I did this filament. So those were the prints I had with the uh, filamentum extra fill PLA gray series of filaments. I was getting very good results using the slicer profile, the process slicer, uh, printing at 210 degrees on the hot end and 60 degrees on the bed. I was getting pretty good consistent results with all the shades of gray. I didn't have any problems with any of those options and I was really happy with this filament. I've been printing several other things also with this vertical gray filament and getting excellent results. And I, I have several prints that I have done with that and I've also painted some of the other filaments as well so very good filament for me so I would highly recommend this filament but for now I thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one